executive director of Child Rights International, Bright Apia, has called for a forensic audit of teachers to ascertain their social behavior before engagement. Reacting to the reported sodomy of 19 boys in the East Gonja municipality of the Savannah region by their school teacher, the group urged stakeholders to prioritize issues concerning boys as much as is done for the girls. My colleague Nancy Vukania has the rest of the story. Child Rights International has called into question the level of social protection of children in schools. The group is urging the state to be responsive in catering to the welfare, medical and other needs of children, particularly in cases of abuse such as this. The executive director, Bright Appear, believes the attention given to this case is minimal due to the cultural position of boys in society. A crime has been committed against children. so. The same attention must be given to it, and uh, the, the same way we value the other sector. This is not an act that was committed against a particular child, but uh, several people by the same person. So you wonder how he was able to do it at the blind side of the school authorities, and how the system has worked to ensure that children do not, do not become vulnerable to teachers and other people participating in the school environment. He added that children must be empowered to recognize an acceptable social behavior from teachers and superiors alike and report same. The education service would pay attention to teachers and their behavior towards children. And then the relationship that they build, not the one that would make the child vulnerable. And then you are building trust. Uh, and children will know that when they, have, when they go to issues or when people take advantage of them, to have confidence to report to the system and all that. And those are the things that we have to do. We cannot avoid, we cannot just get rid of these people, but we have to build the confidence of our children to recognize these people. And then also in the event where it happens, we can put them in our social safety net. The rate at which the state has responded to this sodomy case of 19 boys at Salaga in the Savannah region is less than satisfactory. But with a gender ministry whose budgetary allocation is less than 1% of Ghana's GDP, not much can be expected. Civil society, however, have committed to supporting the boys, the victims in this case, with medical and legal fees. Meanwhile, reports coming in say the culprit has been arrested and will be arraigned before court on a later date. Nancy Vokania for TV3 News, Accra.